going along, marching through time, right along with Christianity for pretty much ever. And the proof of the point is that that Washington Monument is a, is a perfect copy of Cleopatra's needle, which came from Egypt. And there is a, I'm not sure if it's the exact one or one very similar that has now been uh, moved to Central Park, New York. And so, you know, it's funny, once you start understanding these things, we were looking through a, um, a furniture book the other day. And you know in those little furniture books how nicely they put everything together, everything's the right color. You women know. You say, boy, I wish I could do like that. And right on the coffee table, there was what we, we term these as obelisk. And, and now we see it on fireplaces behind actors in movies. And we see it here and we see it there. I tell people about these things and they report back, hey, I saw one and it was here. And I mean, they're all over the place. But you've got to know what these things are. The occult knows. They've known for years. It's high time we figured it out. Okay. I took this picture myself outside the Masonic Temple in Washington, D.C. There's two lights outside there. If I keep talking about this, I'll probably take them away. <coughs> this is the top of the lamp, and right here, I don't think you can mistake it, but you know, if you can't see it where you are over there, come on over. That, folks, is a goat's head. There's no mistaking that. That's not a cow or a moose or a sheepdog. That is a goat's head. And if you're not completely sure about that, forget that picture and Tom go to the next one and you see the hooves of the goat on the bottom. And of course, those people who have been in the temple <coughs> come out with pictures. The whole inside of the temple is just completely <coughs> designed and uh, uh, ravished with all kinds of serpents all over the temple. How can any man call himself a Christian and be associated with such perversion? It's mind-boggling. 